184 small and medium-sized enterprises successfully completed the survey which was conducted by the University of Namibia. Funded by Germany, the Namibia Procurement Fund in conjunction with the Ministry of Trade and Industry initiated the study to assess the scope of procurement and the relevance thereof for local SMEs. One of the study's main findings is that SMEs often lack the technical capacity, financing and human resources to compete with large companies. Additionally, the sometimes occurring late payment of public entities threatens the ability of successfully contracted SMEs to operate their business and implement their contracts. Another issue of concern is the lack of a mutually accepted definition for Namibian SMEs. This lack of definition hinders the implementation of comprehensive interventions and the development of targeted empowerment legislation. The study which was conducted between April and July last year revealed that despite the need for procurement funding, SMEs need to be embraced better in the local economy as the sector does host 20% of the country's employed and contributes 12% to its gross domestic product. Minister Kali Schlettwein emphasized the need for the private sector at large to be more friendly towards local SMEs. I'm pleased to see that government and parastatals make good use of SMEs in their procurement systems. But I agree with the comment that I'm somewhat disappointed that NGOs and the private sector is not making the same use of SMEs. I therefore also want to repeat that appeal to larger private sector companies to come up with procurement policies that are focusing on the utilization of SMEs in their procurement methods and, of course, source locally what is available locally. The Namibia Procurement Fund, since its inception about four years ago, invested more than $400 million in about 80 local SMEs that created more than 2,000 permanent jobs.